Hey guys, today is a really, really exciting day. I think my Chiasen CX20, or 10, sorry, just arrived. I'm really excited. Here, as you can see, it says, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, RC Toy Model. So, I really cannot wait to open this thing. Uh, gonna be the world's smallest quadcopter for 2014, I guess it is. And, uh, the package seems to be a bit ripped. Uh, it's unfortunate. But that's alright, uh... Anyway, we'll just cut some of this plastic here. So excited. I cannot wait. And it is. It is. It's the, it's the Chisen Mode 2. Let me just get this phone sorted. Alright. So, uh, so let's continue uh, with the unboxing. I turned off the phone. But uh, here we'll just keep on uh, cutting the box. Uh, there you go, rip this, and then this is from Banggood, so I'm not sure how it'll come, but anyway, here it is, it's in the CX-10 box, sadly I don't think this is a, uh, it, do it doesn't come in the genuine box, or the box, you know, official box, but we'll open this, and no, it doesn't come in the official box, but here, there's a the control, I'm so excited, and, my gosh, no way! That is tiny. Is this is this a fake that I just got? This is amazing. Guys, this is amazing. I never knew it was actually possible. This is definitely tiny. I don't believe it. It it's just not possible. I I bet I don't think it could fly. It's just amazing how small it is. Uh I'll get my uh, um x 5 c here. So here I have my Sima x 5 c for those people who do have a Sima X5C, and as you look at that, that's the size compared to a Sima X5C. I am so excited. Uh, it actually has some weight to it. It's actually pretty heavy, um, but that that is amazing. I am so happy with the uh, size. I just wish it would come in a uh, actual box, not this white box, but the box that came with it. But the transmitter is unimaginably tiny. I mean, the, 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 uh, it seems a bit hard to push to the side. The, the string se uh, spring seems to be a bit strong. This is a very tiny transmitter. But here, we'll take a look what is in this uh, box that's given by Banggood. So, we have an instruction manual here, as you can see. Uh, here on the bottom, if we take this little tiny cute Chiasen out, and this little tiny cute controller out, here we have our... Uh, all our accessories, like our charging cable, as you can see, and uh, a good thing, uh, spare props. So some spare propellers, and we'll just take this package off. I cannot wait to charge this. Uh, fast charging, which is good. It takes only about 20 to 15 minutes, and that's amazing. Uh, but the flight time is only about 5 minutes, but that's fine. It's a tiny as quadcopter, can't expect much. But... There's four spare propellers, as you can see, I will uh, zoom into this. As you can see, uh, it's it's very tiny, it, it looks way bigger on camera, just let me say. Uh, it actually looks, uh, on the camera, it looks like a plasticky sort of device, but it, it, it seems like it's made out of metal. That, that's what it feels like, it, it's very solid, like, like it has some weight to it. It seems like a very solid quad, but compared to my Pebble smartwatch, it's about the size of my Pebble smartwatch, and it is tiny. I mean, it is definitely, definitely small. But, uh, yeah, that's enough uh, blabbering about the smallness of it. It is very tiny, but, yeah, the motors are also very small, which is surprising, because I thought they were going to be, like, like, I, I never expected this quad to be this small. As you can see, there are the lights. Oh, uh, there you go. Here's some of the lights. I will charge this up because that's not good for the battery. Uh, yeah, we've got to fully charge it first, so we'll undo this and we'll charge it up. Uh, hopefully, it'll finish very soon and we'll get to some flying. I cannot wait. Hey guys, um, while I was rendering the video, I um, I noticed that uh, I actually did a very bad job explaining the controller. So, I'm going to do a video or a part of the video just for this controller. So, uh, this controller, first of all, takes f uh, two AAA batteries, as you can see, AAA. You could really badly see, it says AAA. But, yeah, so it takes um, 
two AAA batteries. And here's the power switch. So here we just switch that on. There you go. So now right now it's flashing, indicating that it's ready to bind with our quadcopter, which has actually finished charging. So yeah, so it automatically binds. But uh, so yeah, what you want to do is um, well, yeah, when you when your quadcopter is synced up, you just want to go um, I oh, will just show you. So we'll just turn this control off and on. So what? Okay, so after the two beeps when you binded your controller, what you want to do is go full. Uh, like at the moment it is b bound, so it is um, it is connected to the quadcopter. But you need to confirm it by going uh, or you know you gotta you gotta actually enable it by going full up and then full down, and then your quadcopter will be uh, able to fly. So. The controls on this uh, quadcopter, uh, quadcopter's remote is uh, pretty simple. Uh, this button here is uh, for your rate, so um, how fast the quadcopter will go. So uh, on default, it'll, it's on low rate, so the slowest the quadcopter could possibly go. So it'll, it'll tilt a little bit and it'll go slowly. And then when you uh, hit the button again, it'll click, uh, it'll beep two times telling you that it's in medium rate so it'll go a bit faster than normal so then it'll tilt a bit more and then go a bit faster and then when you click the button again you get three beeps three beeps means that it'll go like really fast it'll, it'll tilt a lot more and it'll go a lot faster uh, so we'll go back to uh, so when you're on uh, high rates if you want to go back to one just click again beep once and then it'll uh, it'll be on low rates also, in order to do flips, because this does have a flip function, which is nice, uh, you click this uh, left stick, so you click that. That'll beep, and it'll continue to beep to tell you that it's ready to um, flip. And after that, you just want to hit anywhere. So you want to hit, then move. Hit, then move. Uh, so th that's the flip button. Uh, these buttons here are your trim buttons. So it's only the buttons here, 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 and here. So uh, there's only those buttons there so it's quite easy to operate and there we go so yeah now it's time for the flying sorry if this was a bit confusing this part of the video hey guys I promised a flight video so uh, I'll have to do one let me just tell you now I'm really bad with this quad because it's still new and I'm not really used to the fly flying there you go so let's start flying oh <laughs> Okay, okay, so attempt two. Try to hand launch it this time. <sighs> right, so attempt three. Hopefully this time we're good. Oh, uh... Oh, uh, that's right, I was in medium rate. So I'll go to low rates. Hopefully we could fly. There we go. And here's just a little slow demo. I'll try to do a flip. I don't guarantee anything. Oh, let's try to do a flip. Oh, oh. All right, we'll try another one. Oh, oh, oh. This is a really touchy quad, by the way. It's very, uh, very uh, touchy on the throttle. So very active. So we'll try to... Okay, so let's try to fly the quadcopter. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do too well with this, but let, let's see. Especially since I'm trying to look at the camera as well as I record. Anyway, let's... Oh, oh, there we go. There we are. Oh. Let's try to do a flip. Oh, there you go. I don't know if you saw that, but let's try to go from the bottom. There you go. That was a flip. Oh! It hit my face. Nah, it didn't. It hit my arm. But anyway, uh, not again. This thing is actually a very tough quad. I'm, I'm crashing this thing a lot. There we go. Oh, back up in the air. 
Alright, so we'll do a stability test. I'm just gonna try to float the quad here. There you go. That was a bad time. Okay, so let's try again. Oh. Okay, we'll shoot up in the air now, so we'll go land over there and we'll see, we'll just uh we'll see how fast this little thing can shoot up into into the air. So I'll wait for the camera to focus, which I don't think it will do. Anyway, we'll shoot up in the end, hopefully, uh, no. Right, so hopefully that fixed the, uh, focus issues, but here we'll just take off the ground. There we go. Okay, so I'll go to medium rates, or rates number two. Go a bit faster. Oh, oh. There you go, as you can see, oh. That thing goes really fast. Let's see how far, how fast it could shoot up into the sky. Please note that the batteries aren't 100% full. So we'll just shoot up in the air in 3, 2, 1. Whoa! Ah, there you go. So as you can see, it goes up really fast. It has lots of power for such a small quadcopter. There you go. Whoa. Okay, now we'll do something that I should never, ever, ever do. I'm going to go into high rates. So that's number 3. Oh. Okay, this is the fastest he'll go. It's a very zippy quad. Whoa. Whoa! Alright, so we'll take a look at the yaw, so the rotation, so we'll just uh, go up here. This is on high rates, by the way. Oh, really hard in this small area. Alright, so that was... So we'll go back to single rate and just keep flying. Whoa! There we go. Whoa! Uh, I got the I got the orientation wrong uh, wrong again because I thought the uh, orange was the front. I'm too used to that with my timer, but the blue is on the front, so I've got to get used to that. There you go. Yeah, we'll just keep flying until the batteries are fully gone. <laughs> right inside. We'll try a little uh, mini throw to fly thing. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, not again. There you go, let's try again. Let me try to get it trimmed out a little bit. Need some backwards trim. Come on, this thing is really hard to fly. Let's just try to keep flying. Okay, so I guess that's enough flight time. I'm really bad at flying this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the final review for this quad. Um, firstly, it's amazing. I really like the build quality. Even after being stepped on, all it suffered from was a few bent prop pro propellers. And that's just about it. So... I'm surprised with the build quality. I really like the build quality on this. Uh, I like how the controller is small, so it makes it very portable, just like this little uh, uh, Jason. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah, I really like the size of it. Um, I like, again, the durability. And I think this top is actually made of metal. Like, it's really tough. It's not flimsy whatsoever, the top. So I think that is actually made out of metal. Yeah, it's, I think it's made out of metal. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, really like the quality. It's much more tougher than any other quad. Like the, um, like the other nano quads, I'm not sure what they're called. But the ones with the uh, circuit board being the frame. That one I did not buy because it is bigger. And it will snap the, uh, if the, if the board gets snapped, then that's goodbye to your quadcopter. While this, you could smash it everywhere and then... 
the body I think is made out of metal, so you won't really crash it. But uh, yeah, the thing that I don't really like about this thing is the uh, sticks on the controller. They're a bit hard to push around. They're a bit the springs are a bit too strong. Um, it'd be good if they were a bit looser. That'd be a bit more uh, easier to move around. I think that's my only complaint. Also, the lights maybe being a bit brighter might help with orientation at night. They look much better on camera, by the way. But um, those two complaints are just about it. Uh, I would ask for longer lifetime or battery time, but for such a tiny battery, I really can't complain. Also, a, a bigger battery means bigger flight time and more heavier and stuff. So I like it just the way it is. Uh, if you're thinking about buying it and uh, wondering if you should or not, buy it. Definitely buy it. I'm amazed with it. I really like it. Uh, for me to Australia it took about 22 days, but yeah, really, um, I'm not kidding, buy it, I really like the colour, uh, it's a bit more, the colours are better in real life. Um, also what I recommend when you're buying one of these, buy a bright colour, it's easier to see, because these, if you buy like a dark colour, like maybe blue I think, um, it, it's going to be quite hard to see, because, um, well it's small. And uh, if you crash it somewhere, you'll be like if it's orange, you'll be able to see it. Anyway, this is a really long um, final review sort of thing. But yeah, I really can't complain about this. If you want to buy it, buy it immediately. It's amazing. And um, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Hopefully, uh, next video will be about flying this thing outside. Maybe I don't know. Maybe just more flying indoors. Or uh, take a look at the specs. But anyway, see ya.